All right, for this last problem in this section, it says the data in the table below represents the percentage of a country's population aged 20 years or older whose age is X who do not have a high school diploma. Complete parts A through C below. So we have our age, and they say treat this like X or treat it like the independent variable. And then we have our percentage without a high school diploma that they're calling P, so we're going to treat this like our Y. In order to create the scatter diagram, we're going to um, put these points in on our calculator in our list 1 and our list 2. So let's go back over to our calculator. If you need to pause the video to write these uh, numbers down, you absolutely can. Back over in our calculator, and I've already entered mine in just to save some time, but our steps would be we're going to hit STAT, and then the first one that comes up is edit, so we're going to choose number one for edit. We're going to put all of our ages in the L1 and the percentages in the L2. So if you need to stop and put those in, go right ahead. Once you've put the, a the ages and the percentage in, we're going to do second mode to quit second y equals to get to our stat plot menu. We're going to choose number one or just hit enter. Remember your on must be highlighted so we hit enter to toggle that on and off. Your um, type has to be a scatter plot. The x and the y list must be L1 and L2. And then we do zoom 9 for our statistical window. So this is what the scatter diagram of that data uh, matches. So now back in our question here, let me go back to that. It looks like um, what we have on our screen most closely resembles this picture. Now it says use the graph to determine which sentence below best describes the relation between age and percentage of the population without high school diploma. So we're trying to figure out what kind of a relationship that we're looking at here. Is this is it linear? Is it quadratic? Is there nothing going on? Well it looks to me like that this would be quadratic in nature. It's actually kind of part of that U-shape there. So actually our answer would be that there appears to be a quadratic relation between age and percentage. Now let's see what else are they going to have us do. It says based on your response find either a linear or quadratic model. So we said this was going to be quadratic. So we're going to be choosing a quadratic model that best describes this relation. Okay well let's go back to our calculator to help us do this. Um, if you'll remember the steps for finding a line of best fit, we, we did those before. We went to STAT and then we arrowed over to CALC and here were our choices. Well we did lines of best fit or linear regressions before but that's not what this relation was. This relation is more quadratic. So you see that number five below that it says quad reg, quad reg meaning quadratic regression. So we're going to choose the correct one which this time is number five and hit enter. Now it is giving us the coefficients um, for our quadratic regression. So if we were going to write this out, we would want to write it out as, um, and remember we're going to do this as a function also. This is the percentage in terms of A for age would be 0 0.016 x squared minus 1, oops, can't see that, 1.1 1 if I go with three decimal places, uh, one six x, and then plus twenty nine point seven six nine. So this is our quadratic of best fit. So back on our paper, hopefully they have one of those as our choices, and they absolutely do right here. Now then, the last part says predict uh, the percentage of 45-year-olds. Well, if we have our function now, we can replace the A with 45, and we should end up getting 12%.